Okay, hi. So I'm going to do sort of a Copic, Copic, however you want to pronounce it. I usually pronounce it Copic um, because, you know, I'm phonetic like that and I don't speak Japanese. So if I sound like an idiot, I don't feel like I'm offending anybody. Um, it's just my accent. Blame me. So caffeination is awesome at two o'clock in the morning. We're going to start with the various ink refill. Now, this alone is one of the things that sets Copics, Copics, whatever, far above and beyond any competition that they have. The fact that you can refill your marker, whichever kind you get, I don't care if it's the Chow, the Sketch, or the original, or even the Wides, you can refill with over 25 cc's per of these things. Now, you can find them online decently priced. Um, I used to say that dickblick.com was your best bet, but I have to rescind that. I'm sorry, Dick Blick. Admittedly, you do have the best selection of most things. However, comicmarkers.com, so that's markers with an S at the end, amazing customer service. I absolutely love them. Uh, they were out of a particular color that I really, really needed. And um, they sent me an email right away saying, we're sorry we didn't have it posted on the site that we were out of this color. We're sending you two free markers of whatever other color you want to make up for it. And as soon as your marker comes in, we will also send that to you free of charge with overnight express delivery. So they're awesome. Then there's Carpe Diem Art Store. Um, I think it's carpediemstore.com. I have found various ink refill for $4.90. That is a dollar cheaper than Dick Blick. Also, they have great customer service because um, I ordered special black, so it was 110, and they didn't have any. So they emailed me instantaneously saying, oh my gosh, we're so sorry, we're the scum of the earth, sort of. Um, how can we make it up to you? Do you want us to replace it with regular black? Do you want us to send you two special black markers? You know, the whole nine. And I said, oh no, just replace it with some other color that I had needed. And they said, okay, fine, we'll do that for you. And um, once special black comes in, we will send that to you free of charge. So again, another free various ink refill and mine free of charge. So awesome, that's two. Now, when you go to Carpe Diem and you're looking up the various ink refill, it'll say, you know, the list price will be $5.60, which is the same as Dick Blick. Um, and then once you add it to your cart, mysteriously, it goes down to $4.90. Don't know how that works, but I did do the math and I actually got it right because that's what they wound up being, $4.90. So good on them. Thank you, Carpe Diem. You guys are awesome understanding that artists, we be broke. Um, so... The various ink refills are great. They come in these little handy tubes. Now, I don't have the money to have the awesome adapter thingy that's basically a giant effing syringe that you get the ink from here, pull it in, and then, no, wait, no, you put, you put it on top of this, you screw it onto the, the nozzle, and it turns it into basically what looks like a giant or needle. It's scary looking. Um, but I know me, I would jab myself in the throat with that thing by accident and just shoot Copic into my... It's me. <laughs> There's no scarier words for my significant other than, honey, I have a hammer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> anyway. So, I love the various ink refill, and the reason that I do, because I'll actually get to my point now, is it makes it so much more cost effective. Yes, these markers are expensive. Yes, you're gonna be dropping a ton of money to have a really good variety of color. I have a very good variety of color. Um, these aren't all of my markers. I have some pulled aside for the demo. But I have over 75, I think I have about 90 Copics, Copics, whatever. And if you do the math at 488 to 550 a pen, I've dropped an obscene amount of money on these. Um, 
it's one of the reasons I use the sketches, but we'll get to that. So I, I have, I've spent a lot of money on these, on these supplies, but the artwork that they produce is amazing. Um, this is my Sally that I did in October. Um, she is still for sale. This is the original. You can get in on this. Um, I did the background here all in black, and then I went over it while the black was still sort of wet and um, sinking into the paper with the pine tree green in the sketch using the broad chisel nib. And it wound up getting this really cool effect that you wind up seeing up here. And this is where I put in more green and I wore away more of the black and just really super blended it. Um, and as you can see, she's wicked bright. I mean, clearly my, you know, this is why I don't cut my paper anymore, people. Okay, see, I can't, I can't measure and do straight lines. But she is very, very bright. And against this wicked dark background, my black is still coming out, which wouldn't happen if I used Tria or Prismacolor markers or any other marker. It just wouldn't happen. And um, I am a huge layer junkie. As you can see, I layer the hell out of everything that I do. I'm a Van Gogh fan. What can I say? It's what we do. Um, so you wind up getting really great effects on it. You can also do cool things, and I'll show you my back drill again, where by using the dark first and then going in and doing a much lighter shade and then the middle ground shade over everything, it blends in a little bit better. And you can see that in her cape back here where you're actually, you're seeing the movement of Barbara. And then um, her highlight on her costume, the blue highlight is actually uh, Copic Ice Blue. What, there's something wrong, baby. It's a uh, Copic Ice Blue with then Frost Blue, with then Blue Manganese or however you pronounce that, and uh, followed up by toner gray number two and then toner gray number zero. So it is, it's a lot of layering to get the effects that you want, but this paper is worth it. These markers are worth it. Now let's get into the actual markers themselves. One would think, right? So here are the Copic originals. I own the least amount of these, um, not because they're not fantastic, they're just more expensive than the sketches. Um, Copic Original is the most expensive. I'm not going to do a review of the wides. I'm, I'm just not. I, I, I only have one. Um, they are the most expensive, but they also have more ink to them, and their nibs are a little bit more versatile. So it has a broad nib compared to... Where's my sketch? There we go. So... Oh, it would help if you guys could see it. As you can see, the it's a little bit bigger, just the chisel tip. And then to compare, oh, that was the first of my face. <laughs> so this is a sketch. This is the original. Clearly, you can do much more fine work when you're using the original. Um, the sketch, you eventually get down to it. It's like using a paintbrush, but it's just nylon and it doesn't have, you know, bristles. So you can get cat. <laughs> you can do a lot more with a tip like this. I am hoping my cat is against my rear end. I am hoping to get um, the special black, so the 110. In the original, I have two of them in the sketch, but I think it'd be kind of nice to have them in the original. So you can use the various ink refill, and I have a few. I have, I think, five, and I've got two more on the way. Um, you can use the refills, and you can use them, I think, 11 times in an original, and I think you can use them 12 times, I think in a sketch. So it really does extend the life of your marker. And I have yet to have to replace a, sing a single nib on any of my markers. And I use them constantly, as you can see by the half-assed job I've done filling it. So that's part one of our Copic review. And now on to part two, where I actually get down to it. See you guys.